For every loved Mr. Beast player, there is also one who is hated by everyone. Starting with the cartoonishly evil Jimmy Merchill, who on April 20th, 2024, would become the greatest Mr. Beast villain of all time. Near the start of the challenge, Jimmy volunteered to be the 40s captain, but would quickly use the position for all the wrong reasons. You know what this means, right? Now you are in charge. When his neighbor, 43, was given the choice to eliminate other players, Jimmy made what she should do clear. If you let her stay, she gets control. We gotta keep control or we'll be eliminated. We're at war. I know. The manipulation worked. It's up to you. <clears throat> 66, you are so sweet, and it's been a pleasure getting to know you. Um, unfortunately, in this game, we're trying to stick together, and I've enjoyed you, but um, unfortunately, you're eliminated. But while eliminating the adults was bad, worse was when he showed no mercy even to the kids. Is that 11? <laughs> you are a kind person, and you are kind enough to not eliminate me. Don't do it. Now's not the time to develop a heart, okay? Okay. This got him hate from not only his fellow players. What'd you say, villain? Guess I'm gonna miss your snoring. I know Matt G43. Now I start feeling your pain, but you just cruel. But also his audience. 42 is a whole inmate with no heart. 42 is a straight menace. This man did some Eisen type stuff. I'm so proud of you. Jimmy's bad karma would fortunately soon come back to bite him. Just letting you know, I will be stepping out. So if you want to join me, then we can be losers together. If nobody else stepped out, Jimmy would win $250,000. But if another person stepped out, both of them would win nothing and be eliminated. Let's see if someone just won a quarter of a million dollars. Guards, drop the curtains! You look around, you'll see that 42 was the only one to step out until two seconds remained. And someone all the way over there stepped out at the last second. Another player sacrificed himself to stop Jimmy from winning, giving 42 a taste of his own medicine. But while 42 lost $250,000 due to the hate his villain persona got, Chandler Hallow would win way more than that due to how much love he got. On June 24th, 2017, Chandler would appear in a Mr. Beast video for the first time. Here's the record. The then 18-year-old used to be Mr. Beast's janitor, but became a fan favorite once viewers saw his funny and boyish personality. Chandler, we're trying to clear all the aisles. Get, stop sleeping on him. Can I get a dustpan? That's not how you clean it up, Chandler. Prompting comments like, I found Chandler, I came for Chandler, and I'm staying Team Chandler forever. This fame only rose as Chandler became known for losing every single challenge. Oh! I'm done. One, two, three, one. But Chandler maintained he was just waiting for his big win. I'm waiting for the big, big prize. Uh -huh. This is, that is the big prize. Car. No, no, no. That's the biggest prize. There's been a car and a house. What is that? Bigger. An $800,000 island is. The winner of Survivor Mr. Beast, Chandler. You guys made memes about me. You did. Saying I would never win. Well, look, I tried today. And I won. Although where Chandler's rags to riches story is proof of his commitment, Camila Araujo's wealth is proof of the opposite. On November 25th, 2021, Camila would appear on Mr. Beast's Squid Game Challenge as Player 67. Basically, you don't think it's Umbrella. Umbrella, you Did you even watch Squid Game? Sharing her number with a key character from the show, she captured the audience's interest. But her response to this interest... I lost $456,000 in Mr. Beast's Squid Game video, and I've been trying to make the money back ever since. I'm just gonna start off turned it into hate. Mr. Beast made the wrong person famous. Losing a competition made you sell your body? Funniest concept ever heard. Worse, Camilla wouldn't just start an OF. She also used her friends and family to promote it. How does it feel to have a sister that has an OF? My friends always ask me if it's pink, but I don't really know what they mean by that. What do you think? What's my job? A YouTuber. Telling a kid to promote your adult content? Pretty sure it's illegal. Someone save that little girl. Despite the entire internet and even her family being on happy with her, Camilla didn't care. My dad recently has been giving me sh about, you know, using my brother for videos and like using my family for videos and stuff. And then I was like, oh my God, dude, shut up. So I bought him a car, his dream car. And 
smooth sailing. Chasing money in cloud, she is now just known as a total failure and an online 304. In contrast to iShow Speed, who would use his money in clout to win hearts. On October 13th, 2022, iShow Speed would compete in Mr. Beast's last to take handoff jet keeps it challenge, only to quickly make a fatal mistake. But while Speed lost this challenge, him and Chunks got Mr. Beast's credit card as a pity gift. And though they immediately used it on expensive clothes, it like it went <laughs> by the end of it, Speed showed he still had self conscience. It don't seem right, bro. It don't seem right, bro. No, don't get heavy. And over the following years, would become known for always giving back. Eat something, bro. Are oh, you hungry? Nah, bro. He hungry. He hungry, bro. He hungry. What you want to eat? Get what you want, bro. Oh, Come on. Yeah, get what you want. You want a drink? Uh, that's okay. You sure? Yeah, yeah, of course. Bro, like, you need some water to wash that down. Take it. Take it. Take it. Seriously, no, take it. No, don't cry, please. Aside from his charitable actions, Speed is also a genuinely empathic person. Oh, what's up, Deepest Darkest Secret? I tried to myself 19. Hey, 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 hey! What the hell? You okay, all right? You gonna be all right. I'm no, I lost my best friend. I lost my best friend. I can't be okay. Damn, I'm sorry for your loss. I swear to God, I mean, I'm sorry for your loss. Like, I'm serious. on some real shit. Show Speed may do dumb stuff, but he has a big heart. We made the right person famous. With his actions being the perfect example of when you do good things, good things happen to you. Unlike Charlie D'Amelio, who was willing to cheat to get what she wants. In October 2020, Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio would win Mr. Beast's $300,000 influencer trivia tournament. Congratulations, Dixie! You just got the dub! Oh my goodness! The MVP for the D'Amelio family! But viewers argue that they cheated as their entire family competed instead of just Charlie and Dixie. Even Mr. Beast looked like he didn't expect that, although he let it slide. This, is this going to be a coordinated team effort from you four right now? Yes. <laughs> good, good, okay, no, good. Bring it on. They're I all, love clutch situations. All, um, Preston, do you think you can take all four of them? But the viewers were not so forgiving. I was at that stream. Everyone was spamming unfair and they kept ignoring us, especially when it was clear that their parents were telling them the answers. People also alleged that D'Amelio's used their phones during the tournament, something they're not supposed to do. It's crazy how they already got a whole family and still cheated. Now, the D'Amelio's were willing to cheat to win, something that can't be said about Susie Taylor, who was willing to sacrifice a quarter million dollars to maintain her integrity. On December 16th, 2023, Susie would appear in this Mr. Beast video. Bailey, this is Susie. Susie, nice this is Bailey. Nice to meet you. Hi, Bailey. nice to meet you. If the two of you can survive the next 100 days in here, I will give you the half a million dollars inside of this bowl. But if one of you leaves before the 100 days is up, you both get nothing. Determined to win, Susie quickly came up with a way to track the time. You have to sign our sign-in sheet. Oh, these are our camera people. Yeah, this is everyone that's come in today. Wait, wait a minute. You're having them do this so you can track the days and the time. But apart from her wit, she also had great chemistry with Bailey. Man, the longer I'm in here, the more I feel like I'm sharing a space with an annoying sibling. Are <laughs> you talking about me? <laughs> Who else? Which viewers love? Those two are honestly the best contestants Mr. Beast has ever had. They are so entertaining and good natured. She also looked forward to completing the challenge. I just keep thinking of the feeling like of exiting. Oh yeah. How good is that gonna feel? Things got trickier though when a hurricane led to a power outage. Oh no way! No way! Still, Susie endured. But you know what? I'm proud of us for staying strong. Good job. But as the hundred days came to an end, Mr. Beast gave the duo's friendship the hardest test yet. You each have the choice to split the money and nothing changes you both hit split you just split it keep what you have or if you hit steal you can steal the other person's money and if you both hit steal you would get nothing the temptation of a half million dollars was strong both deserve half for sure but now you make me nervous but in the end you both chose split yes! It's so wholesome that they ended up doing the right thing. Well done. They both deserved it. Unlike Susie, though, Mr. Beast isn't so beloved by his fans anymore. On July 24th, 2024, Mr. Beast, real name Jimmy Donaldson, would be called out by former employee Dogpack404 for running illegal lotteries, amongst other things. The FTC defines a lottery as containing three elements. A valuable prize, 
random chance, and consideration, which can be time or effort, but in most cases is just payment. In determining if any Mr. Beast giveaways have been illegal lotteries, we need to identify a prize, which is distributed through random chance and cannot be won without spending money. For those of you who are just joining, if you buy one of our limited edition uh, 40 mil special shirt, then we will sign that shirt and some of them will get random prizes like this. To make matters worse, his target audience is children. So you have to be 18 to play the lottery. It's gambling. Mr. Beast just uses gambling psychology to exploit young children for profit. Jimmy also lied to fans about his chocolate bar company, Feastables. A large part of Feastables' marketing campaign was the fact that it's a better for you brand, that it's healthier for you than Hershey's. Now in 2024, Mr. Beast changed the formula again to where it has mostly the same ingredients as Hershey's and even more more sugar and more calories per bar. Not only is that false marketing, it also promotes child obesity, which is one of the leading causes of death in the United States. And audiences have not been happy. Evil Mr. Beast was real all along. Jimmy is the embodiment of when something seems too good to be true, it probably is. However, where Mr. Beast exploited his fame, Jake the Viking Franklin would use it to help those in need. Despite initially joining Mr. Beast to be the big strong guy, Jake's true character would become clear in this video when he, as one of the last two contestants, agreed to split the house instead of giving in to greed. If we both take our hand off at the exact same time right now, we could take this place. There's three bedrooms. True. And even though the other player, which, fun fact, is Bailey, expected betrayal, Jake proved him wrong. Three, two, oh, one, uh... go. <laughs> In the end, the two did end up splitting the house, with the move earning Jake love from fans. He became so loved, in fact, that when he left Mr. Beast to focus on his channel, he would hit 1 million subscribers in just half a year. I just want to thank each and every single one of you guys uh, for the love and support you have shown me and the channel. From the bottom of my heart, it means the world to me. And then, using his success to help others during the 2020 C word. Here you go. What? Thank you so much. Oh, no, thank you for finally having Cobra Kai. Dude, I love you. Oh my god. Thank you. Can you hug? Of course. <laughs> Earning praise from the community. Jake the Viking is cool, period. He gave back what he got. He is a good man. Where Jake has proven himself a wholesome Mr. Beast ex member, that is not the case for Ava Chris Tyson. In mid July 2024, Ava would be exposed as a groomer and a PDF file. This followed the reveal that a 20 year old Chris Tyson used to send inappropriate messages to a 13 year old boy named Lava, along with supporting an infamous child corn artist. Ava Chris Tyson has no excuse for what she did. Well, just a few days later, she came up with one. In past years, I have learned that my old humor is not acceptable. I cannot change who I was, but I can continue to work on myself. To lump these two factors together to create a narrative that my behavior extended beyond bad edgy jokes is disgusting and did not happen. Unfortunately for her, the internet was not buying that. Chris Tyson is a groomer, a monster, and a danger to kids. A day after Ava's tweet, Mr. Beast broke his silence. I've seen enough online and taken immediate action to remove Ava from the company, my channel, and any association with Mr. Beast. But where Ava's actions got her removed from Mr. Beast, Max's actions earned him Ava's place on the crew, along with nearly $1 million. On October 7, 2023, Mac Hopkins would participate in his first Mr. Beast challenge. Mac, are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, oh, wait, Mac, can you fix that thing behind you? All right, the timer has started. Despite being the only player, he lost $700,000. Wait, what just happened? Oh no. But won the hearts of Mr. Beast fans. Mac is a breath of fresh air. We need him in more videos. In response, Mr. Beast brought him back for another challenge, but luck still wasn't on his side. Oh my gosh. Despite losing the same way a second time, his fans were rooting for him. Give Mac justice. He deserves a third chance. We ain't stopping until we see him win. He really is a legend. Prompting Mr. Beast to bring him back for one final challenge. I have built the most deadly obstacle course in the world. And my friend Mac here is attempting to complete it. And this time... You finally did it!
earning the title of the most deserved win in Mr. Beast's history, as well as love from fans, he's not only won 800k, he's also earned everyone's respect. The man is a legend.